Hey guys, today I'm going to take you very quickly through how to make a Doctor Who style star field in Google SketchUp. Uh, this one's mainly um, inspired by the Sylvester McCoy type titles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get this on screen for you now. As you see, I've loaded it up and it's still got our um, good old fashioned girly friend there in the middle. And so what I'm going to do to start off this video is I'm going to select her and press the delete button. Um, there we go and I'm just zooming in so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit clearer now I'm zooming in quite a lot to um, the axis because it helps if the stars are really small for the processing power of the computer so I'm going to draw a very small circle here I'm going to zoom in a little bit I'm going to save this um, image I'm going to click save as and I'm going to save it as star with lots of R's because I've already got a star file. Anyway, I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to um, do this so that I can make another circle which is not quite as big as the original in the middle. Um, there we go. Now, to in order to do this, uh, we've got to pay careful attention to we hitting the select tool here and we select the original um, circle. Then we're going to go all the way to Tools and go to Follow Me. And we're going to click just once on our new circle. And we're going to save that file now. And I'm going to delete the original. So what we have is we've got a completely new circle. Okay. Um, so once I zoom out and that is nice and small, um, I can then go to the Styles in the Window setting and start changing that around. I remove the sky. So no more sky, and I go to the black background rather, and I make it into a black ground. Ha ha, bad joke. Anyway, so we have our first star. Now this would be all fine and dandy, but we've got these annoying axes. So what I'm going to do just temporarily is I'm going to cut away the axes and leave it so that we've got our one single solitary star located in our universe. That star, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Let's call it Sol, because that's where I come from. Right, so copy, and we're going to paste it there. Copy and paste there. And I'm just going to drag these around so that they um, will make up a little network, like so. As you can see, I'm already um, starting to develop quite the star field. Problem is, a lot of these are on the same plane, but that doesn't really matter for the purposes of this. Um, there we go. I'm just going to cut a few of those, delete them, cut a few more, delete them. And there we go. We've got we've started to get a star a star field showing. Now we're going to find a place where we've got some stars which are out of alignment. I'm going to select them, those four stars there. So that is going to be copied and pasted. I'm going to bring them forwards. I'm going to paste them there. Like so. Right, um, there we go. That's a line I've accidentally drawn in the middle of deep space. But we are um, starting to construct our star field, so I'm going to copy a larger selection and I'm going to paste that larger selection after I've um, turned it round a little, rotated through the universe as it were. Um, unfortunately it doesn't seem to be um, focusing them on the same sort of planes. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to put them right in the background, like so. Going to do that again. As you see, and um, they're all sort of taking um, taking on a new identity, new shape. Just going to select a few different ones so that I can um, paste them at different angles and hopefully get something slightly different out of here. Um, but as you see, we're creating a star field. And it's slowly building up over time. Just going to post that, paste that a bit further back, a bit further back, like so. Okay, and that that's actually got quite a bit of bulk and depth to it. So so uh, we can be proud of that star field at the start. 
and uh, this is just going to be quick for demo purposes so I'm going to go to the start of the star field and I'm going to post myself here um, so I'm saving the thing and I'm going to the animation I'm going to add a scene I'll add two scenes no three scenes there we go um, so our first scenes here second scene I'm going to zoom hang on deselect I'm going to zoom into the middle of the stars update I'm actually going to quickly delete scene three and four because uh, I'd rather work from them individually next I'm going to turn around like so I'm going to add I'm going to update then I'm going to turn so, and I'm going to zoom away like really far away and I'm going to add another scene and update that deleting the four stars which are over here so we've got our scenes in this particular order now what I'm going to do is go to the animation button and go to settings remove the scene delay because that places an irritating stop between each scene I'm going to change it to 3.5 seconds in terms of transitions I'm going to save I'm going to export the image as an animation um, go into the options and I will um, take the height, join them up, and I'm going to save it as 1920 over 1080, which is high definition. That's in 16.9. Frame rate of 30 is f absolutely fine for this. Press OK to continue and export. The reason I stopped the video was because it was just taking so darned long. But anyway, um, I'm going to go to... Um, libraries documents grab star and drag it over to um, Sony Vegas and this is the program I'm going to be using to edit it in and this is what it looks like at the moment just so that you can sort of see that there now this is a file on its own is absolutely fine if you're absolutely satisfied with that as a look um, of course you can um, always add things like I don't know um, the um, glow tool uh, I've always rather liked for this sort of thing I find uh, that if I take the suppression down a little bit on them and get some beautiful little looks out of it, take the um, thing down just have a little bit of glow coming out of the ones which are closest to the screen um, then um, if we... Uh, I'll just show you what that looks like so we come into it, you can just see them very very slightly glowing um, alternatively if you want you can always add stuff like the starburst effect I don't really like using the starburst effect for star fields because um, it just looks kind of naff I'm going to take the threshold down on that but if you really really want um, like that sort of star effect coming in you can uh, have that in as well so whilst they come across to the screen you've got like these um, glowing little stars I'm going to remove that temporarily um, just take it off because I'm um, going to increase well decrease the uh, thing there add a little bit more intensity to it take the suppression down and I'm going to select it all and render again just there there we go and that should uh, render nicely now and I'll skip again okay here's the file loaded um, it's um, the glow you can sort of see on the stars which are closest to us and as we play that and they come into us you get this beautiful sort of effect as they go past and it's like light is coming out of them and I think that that is really really beautiful if you're using Google SketchUp to make something like this I would recommend actually doing it without the copying pasting huge clusters of stars because that actually wastes time um, I did it to be more impressive in this video but it didn't really pay off you'll do better if you just copy and paste a single star again and again and again and again and again because you can get about one star for every two seconds if you're going to position it right in the grid and um, that means in order to build up a star field of say um, a couple of hundred stars it's probably only going to take you about half an hour that sort of thing to do them really really well and you can have a whole galaxy and you can have it spiraling and looking absolutely beautiful 
Um, I, I'm going to just quickly have show you a thing which I did earlier. I hope the video has been helpful to you um, if you would like more videos please subscribe to the channel post comments that sort of thing uh, rate the video and if you liked it that much subscribe to the channel I really appreciate the fact that you're watching these videos anyway take care see ya